What's going on, guys? I'm back again with another review. Uh, this is the one I was talking about uh, possibly getting off of my Facebook page and uploading it to YouTube, but uh, that didn't work out so well. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing the Apocabox unboxing two months late, having to find everything, repack it, and just shoot the whole video again, I'm just going to go over what's in the bag here. Um, first of all, these didn't come with it. These are the Maxpedition uh, gear ties that I was using. Didn't care for them. Um, just everything with this bag on my main bag, it was just, it was too floppy. I didn't like it. Um, also, couple of small black carabiners with the one inch black steel hooks or excuse me not hooks but uh rings these are good for you know tying up a hammock or something that i'd affect just extra little stuff to keep on it um but what i am going to do is just do a quick overview of what all is in this bag uh this was geared for Basically, end of the world happens and you're in a urban environment. Uh, you may work in a city or on the edge of the city, you know, a lot of office buildings and whatnot, and you've got to get out. There's riots, there's fires, it, it's all coming crashing down and it's time to go. And this was designed with that in mind to help you get out of the city and get to a safer place so to speak get away from the riots and the looting and the tear gas and all that so let's hop on in and uh see what we got here uh first of all the bag is made by creek um don't know how many of you guys may or may not be familiar with it everything i've encountered of creek is good quality stuff holds up really well um, this thing, I've been beating on it for the last couple of months and it's not showing any thread wear or falling apart, which is good. So, uh, the patch came with it. Not really for sure who made the patch. Uh, you could probably dig it up online, but only reason I've got it on here is because obviously this is the urban bag. So get into it, <clears throat> see what we've got. Ah, first thing is the Apaka box. There we go. Seamless scarf, head wrap, bandana, face mask, all in one. Uh, if you don't have one of these, they're very handy. Um, definitely for hiding, staying out of sight. Uh, we have here pair of black rubber gloves and a face mask. It's a surgical style face mask with two filters. Um, just in case you encounter, you know, pepper spray or tear gas of some kind, something to that effect. Um, also gloves for, you know, traveling, come across uh, somebody with open wounds or something like that. Don't want to get infected or spread infection. So always good to have rubber gloves. Uh, this did not come in it. It's a Gerber mini pair frame knife. Uh, just kind of got randomly stuck in the bag here for backup because this is the bag that I don't have a knife in. Uh, steel pry bar. I'm sure you can come up with a thousand and one uses for that. Uh, good for opening doors and whatnot. Extremely bright light. This thing yeah if you find yourself in a darkened office or stairwell or cave basement whatever <clears throat> this thing is great it's uh got your pin clip on the back uh, also has a magnet back here which will hold it underneath the hood of a car i have used it under the hood of a car it will hold uh will give you plenty of light so nighttime trying to get something running keep something running it works what else we got in here? Ah, bad monkey pair knuckles. I know what they look like, but they are not that. Um, because if you were to actually try to punch somebody with this, you would almost certainly break your hand. Uh, this actually is intended for 
some uh, cordage that came in this kit. <clears throat> uh, wrap it up. Keep it in a, you know, all together. Obviously, I haven't unraveled this, so no use for this just yet. Excuse me. Good to keep around, though. And also, we have a small game trap. Um, there we go. Yeah, these uh, serrations right here. If you are trying to catch a bird or a squirrel or any type of small game, this will definitely do the trick. And uh, whatever you're catching will not live to tell about it. Uh, not I got this, I actually set it up and triggered it with a uh, axe I've got in my main bag. I thought it broke my axe handle and it didn't, but uh, that was a good thing. This thing will definitely catch, you know, birds, raccoons, uh, ferrets, chipmunks, squirrels, whatever. Um, so good for capturing food. The bag itself, neat little drawstring stuff here. Um, got some elastic bands up in here so that you can attach things, hold stuff together. Uh, net pocket. <clears throat> Plenty of room. I mean, you can see all the stuff that I've got that I've pulled out of this bag. Sorry for the crappy camera work, but it is what it is. Uh, all this stuff fits nicely in this bag, and it doesn't weigh a whole lot, which is definitely a good thing. Um, just something great to have as a backup or, you know, an addition to your main bag. Uh, zipper pocket with some riot cuffs. Um, what all I got down there? Yeah, that's it. Uh, these are, you know, as stated, riot cuffs. So what do you think when you hear riot cuffs? What police are tying up hippies with at riots? There you go. Only in black, not the standard white that they normally use. So that's what all I've got in that. Like I said, there was a couple of things that uh, are in my main bag that I went over in my bug out bag review that came with this, but <clears throat> I felt were better suited for that bag than for this one. Uh, this one is more for getting out of a building quick and getting out of town fast. Um, probably a few more things I could add to this, but probably not going to because it's I keep this attached to my main bag. So everything I need is right there at hand and knowing where everything at is key so so that's it for the uh urban survival get out bag uh remember guys like always stay safe appreciate y'all watching like share subscribe